I think it was Andre from Sinistil who clued me into this really interesting promotional item on Etsy, which I promptly purchased uh, despite my better judgment. And we're gonna unbox it here. It's a Kodak Portra um, promotional box that was sent out around 1998, I'm guessing to various photographers and studios and so and it promotes the then new Portra family of films, which back then included 160 NC VC and 400 NC and VC. This is before uh, the quote unquote new Portra arrived around, uh, I think it was 2010. It has a list of qualities and improvements over previous films that they would uh, market to these types of photographers. If it even has a list of if you use this film, use that film. And you'll see in the video I'm sharing shortly that there were some qualities of these portrait films that appealed specifically to like wedding and uh, other portrait photographers. And it came with four packs of film, which I really can't bring myself to open or shoot. It's just nice to have this little promotional piece, this little thing in history. And I don't really know how it's been stored. And you saw it wasn't completely clean. So I am hesitant to open these up and shoot them. I kind of like them as a set. And of course the piece de resistance or whatever, uh, the VHS promotional video, which we will check out now. And I've edited this down for length and make sure to stick around till the end. It gets really interesting. Thanks, Al. So, thank you for everything. Thank, thank you. you. We'll see you in a few minutes. Hello, I'm George Fisher. On September 15th, Eastman Kodak Company introduced a remarkable new family of professional color negative films at Photokina 1998. Today, I'm speaking to you from George Eastman House in Rochester. I chose this location to tell you about our new films because as we approach the new millennium, it's both a fitting place to celebrate our shared history and a place where we can look ahead to our shared future. After all, Kodak and you have been partners in developing the art and the craft of people pictures since early in this century. Here's what a few new Portra film fans have to say. Imagine music here, it's copyrighted still somehow after all these years. Anyway, back to the video. The vividness of the color is just incredible. Beautiful flesh tones, even with mixed lighting conditions. With the new portrait films, even a two-stop mistake is very saleable. It's the first film we have ever used that could be rated at the suggested ASA. And because all four films share the same dyes and color palette, we get beautifully matched prints from wallets to our largest wall portraits. I always told everybody that VPS was the best. You couldn't beat it. Low contrast, it had great skin tones, it was king of the hill. Well, it just got knocked off the mountaintop because the new NC film actually has better skin tones. And I'm, I'm shocked at the range that the new film has. I mean, I can be two stops under. The new films are true to speed. You just put it right on what it says on the side of the film, whether it's 160 or 400, and you're gonna love the results. At a wedding reception, we could have four or five different light sources. The new NC film is gonna render those things much better than it has in the past. The greens from the fluorescent will not be there. It's great. My lab tells me that it is much easier to get consistent looking prints from mixed portrait negatives, and that benefits everyone. It's important to me how film scans because I do so much digital work. And if you do any digital enhancement or retouching, you are going to love this film. I find that this new Portra 400 natural color film is the first film that I've ever been able to rate as a true 400 ASA film. When creating portraits on location, we often mix existing illumination with controlled illumination, producing a number of challenges for us as photographers and for the film we use. Particularly impressive are the film's ability to render the green cast of fluorescent and mercury vapor lights neutral. 
from George Eastman's breakthrough method of making film to our first films made just for portraits, to our introduction of the finest professional color negative films available today, Kodak Professional Films have made a mark in the world by helping professional portrait photographers make theirs. The professional photographer's basic visual instincts are a true gift. You use light, color, contrast, and shadows to reveal the essence of your subjects and to tell their stories in pictures. You go beneath the surface to capture a subliminal quality that will truly transcend time. While new film technology certainly can't make photographers more creative, it can give them tools to help liberate them, to concentrate on content and composition, to simply focus on seeing. That's our aim with the new family of Kodak Portra color negative films. To help drive their creative spark, we're giving photographers an expanded palette of films to let them capture photographs on different speeds and formats, yet still achieve consistent looking prints. We offer you four new portrait films, two vivid color films in 160 and 400 speeds, and two natural color films in 160 and 400 speeds. All four of these share a proprietary breakthrough that we call unified film emulsion technology. That means simply that portrait films yield amazingly consistent results between film types, no matter what speed or color balance you choose. We tested and fine-tuned the new emulsions in the real world. Photographers like you, each with his or her own unique style, put the new portrait films through their paces. By now you all know that I use a lot of different types of film on a wedding day. Well, I have to be honest with you and tell you that in the past, this has driven my lab crazy trying to match PRN, PMC, PMZ to get the same color palette. Well, that's the beauty of the new four types of film, is that they all have the same color palette. And when working fast, sometimes mistakes are made. With the incredible exposure latitude of the new portrait film, lost images due to photographer error are a thing of the past. It's the first film we have ever used that could be rated at the suggested ASA in all light situations and still give a full two stops latitude for either over or under exposure. Over the past few years, one of the most popular products we've offered is digitally composed and composite images. We do our own scanning with a 3570 Kodak scanner. Previously, when using the proper lookup tables for each type of film, it was always necessary to make significant additional corrections in the scanning software to achieve color and pleasing flush tone. Film at, and of course, everyone rates it differently. You know, somebody says, well, I rated it 100, 125, 80, uh, 320, 250, and nobody really rates it uh, true to speed, what it says on the side of the, the film. Now you can do that. The new films are true to speed. Consistency. When we mix custom prints and machine prints for the same client, the results are wonderful. Since switching to the portrait films, the number of remakes sent back to the labs has dropped dramatically. Last week, I picked up some final scans for my new book, and most of the images were created prior to the new portrait films. But mixed in with some of the older films was one negative on the new 400 BC. When I picked them up, the girl who scanned it said, wow, what is this film? The grain is so fine and the color is so punchy, she couldn't believe it. Cool, uh, shooting scenario for me is when I have to do an engagement portrait of a couple. Usually what happens is I usually meet my clients on the curb. I like to put the clients directly into the sunlight because around that time, that time of the evening, I find that this portrait natural color film reproduces that nice kind of 81A warm hue that I like and then we walk into my studio which is about 15 feet from outdoors and then I put them in a, a totally different scenario we're talking a high key background and I'm able to use the same film and capture this high contrast scene and I have a consistent roll of images from inside outside you know shooting film is like having an appetite for art or for music you can never be satisfied Professional photographers continually create the need for innovations in film, 
for new materials which we at Kodak are thrilled to provide. We will never be at the point of saying that the image quality we now have in film is good enough. And we will continue to speed up the process of bringing new products to the marketplace. This means we can be ever more responsive to your needs. During the next century, we will make many choices which will determine the future of our industry. Some of those choices will be influenced by the evolution of film technology. Some will be determined by the quality of people who participate. We at Kodak are committed to providing you with the best of both. Imagine more copyrighted music here, and please subscribe and turn on notifications if you enjoyed this. And here's where the really interesting extra part of this video comes in. It was tagged onto the end of the tape. As photographers, we all have been there. We've all had those sleepless nights because we've worried about our exposure. You're at a wedding. You realize that you were stopping at half to two stops underexposed. You can't rest. But ladies and gentlemen, I find with this new film, this Portra 400 natural color, true 400 ASA, you can be two stops under. You can get to bed at night. You can sleep. No more restless nights. It's better than any over-the-counter sleep aid.